with MarijuanaPolitics.com, talking with Peter of the Oregon Sun Grown Growers Guild, based in Oregon. Hi, Peter. Can you talk a little bit about what your guild does and who you represent? Yes. The Oregon Sun Grown Growers Guild represents all of the sun grown growers in the state of Oregon, with a current membership of 75 and growing every day. We represent growers at conferences and in the state house in order to further our interests while continuing to forward responsible regulation in Oregon. So what does your outreach look like and what are incentives for members to join your organization? With the benefit of our attorney Paul Loney and our lobbyist Jonathan Manton, our voice is heard at the State House. By bringing growers together, we're able to give them a voice that they wouldn't have acting as individuals. We come together in meetings for both the general membership and for our dues paying members every month in Williams and that gives us the opportunity to discuss amongst ourselves as growers what the things are that we need, find out from the legislators what the things are that they want, and come to an agreement on how to move forward that's best for all of us. So what do you see as the cost and benefits of Sun Grown growing? Why did the organization form and what, it is, what is it that you hope to see moving forward? Sun Grown growing is definitely the most efficient method of growing. It's very natural. It's happened since the beginning of time. This is a plant that's been with us forever and it will be, God willing, we do our jobs here. So how do you see Measure 91 uh, affecting or helping your organization? Are there concerns? What do you see in terms of the issuing of hemp licenses to growers? What are your thoughts on that? We believe that hemp licensing and zoning will be handled separately from medical and recreational licensing and zoning. We look at the areas that we're growing in as something similar to a viniculture area that would distinguish one brand or type of wine from another, say Napa and Sonoma. We expect to be establishing similar regions in the state of Oregon to both promote our products and help the responsible development of the hemp industry without the two interfering with each other. So, so that's something that is on your agenda. Are there other things on your agenda that you're tackling in regards to the measure and the continued growth of the medical program? The Sun Grown Growers Guild doesn't just represent growers. We really represent a plant, and we couldn't do it without our patients. So in representing the plant, in representing the patients, we're representing the best interests of the growers. Awesome. Thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Anything else that is coming up for the Growers Guild or how people can get involved? We see that Measure 91 is going to be modified somewhat. We see that the Oregon Me Medical Marijuana Program is also going to be modified. These changes were in the works before Measure 91, and we believe they can be beneficial for all of us. Meetings monthly in Williams and also meetings monthly for our paid membership help to network and accomplish the goals that we're seeking. Working with the legislature helps to promote responsible regulation. You can visit us on the web at oregonsungrown.org, and you can like us on Facebook. Thank you. It was really nice talking to you, Peter.